No more boring AI tools. In a world where research feels like a one-sided lecture, Notebook LM just came out and flipped the script. I mean, it's not just an AI. It's a conversation. It's a personalized podcast. It's your own personal brainstorming buddy like no other. So imagine uploading everything. I'm talking about your Google Drive, your PDFs, your videos, your website. And now you can have a podcast created all about that. Not only so just a written bookmark, style where you can have conversations. Okay, we have ChatGPT for that. But imagine if you can turn everything that you just uploaded into an audio overview. And not just that, you could talk back to it. So Notebook LM just came out with interactive mode. Now it's in beta version, but we're going to try it. I'm going to take you into a video that I did that I tried it and I was, well, I'll let you see it. I'm not going, I'm not going to give my two cents right now, but I want your two cents on this one. So let's go check it out. Who uses Notebook LM? This is where you can upload any documents that you have or anything inside of, let's say, um, like your Google Drive, and it summarizes it for you. You can chat with it, but it creates like a podcast feature, right? It creates like a whole new podcast feature, but they have this new feature that you can talk to the podcast. So this is what I want to show you. So I created a new notebook and I uploaded like a few chapters of one of my favorite um, books, right? Now you can upload your favorite videos. If you have YouTube videos, you can upload that. Transcriptions, anything you could upload, right? So it, it summarized, um, click to load the conversation. It took my, the PDF that I put up, it created a, uh, a summary real quick. And if I wanted to chat with it, I can, but then it does this. All right, let's jump right in. We're diving deep into the world of online writing today. You want to make your writing really pop, right? Whether it's for a blog, social media post, or even a book. And you brought chapters six through eight of The Art of Online Writing to help us with that. That's right, yeah. So let's get to it. Okay, so the book really emphasizes that online writing, it's a deliberate craft. It's not just throwing words on a page. It's about creating a structure, a structure that pulls readers in and keeps them engaged. Yeah. Okay, so from whatever you upload, whatever you upload, it could create this podcast audio experience for you. But they have this new thing called interactive mode where you can talk, you could talk to the podcast. So check this out. All right, let's jump right in. We're diving deep into the world of online writing today. You want to make your writing really pop, right? Whether it's for a blog, social media post, or even a book. And you brought chapters six through eight of The Art of Online Writing to help us with that. That's right, yeah. So let's get to it. Okay, so the book really emphasizes that online writing, it's a deliberate craft. It's not just throwing words on a page. It's about creating a structure, a structure that pulls readers in and keeps them engaged. Yeah, I love how the author just jumps right in with those five forms of online writing. Actual guide, opinion, curated list, story, incredible talking head. It's like picking the right tool. Oh, wait, someone wants to join. Hey, go for it. So what would make a great actionable guide? Like what are three things that we need to make sure in our writing when we do an actionable guide that it has to, it has to have? Wait for it. Oh, that's a great question. Okay, let's unpack this. Yeah, and it's so important to think about the practical side of writing. Right, so the book says a great actionable guide is something that people will bookmark. It's something that they'll want to come back to again and again, yeah. So to get that bookmark, we got to think about three things. Okay, let's break it down. The first thing is better quality. Yeah, and that could mean going super in-depth if everyone else is shallow. Or it could be about condensing long guides into shorter, digestible bites. It really depends on what's already out there. You know? Exactly. You want to fill the gap, what people are missing. Okay, so first is better quality, second is better voice. Right. If most guides are really dense, you can be the casual, fun one. Or if everything's too casual, you could be more formal and professional. Yeah. It's about finding your unique style, and that really connects with your reader. And third, which we'll talk about a little more later, is... Oh, yeah. Uh-huh. So 
what are some tips to find your unique style? I think that's that's where I'm struggling with. Oh, that's a fantastic question. And it's something a lot of writers struggle with. So you're not alone. Yeah. And it's so important because finding your style is what really makes you writing stand out. So the book doesn't give like a step-by-step -step guide to finding your unique voice, but it does give a lot of tips to experiment, to try things. Right. And it emphasizes authenticity, which I think is really key. Yeah. The author really makes the point that if you're trying to sound like someone else, you're going to sound inauthentic. What's fascinating here is that the book suggests that you need to lean into what makes you, you. Right. And one way to do that is by writing how you speak which is actually a tip the author gives us later in the book. Yes, and recording yourself talking about a topic and then transcribing it is a really great way to do that. It helps you see how your natural speaking rhythm translates to the written word, which can be really surprising. Yeah. Ah, yeah, uh-huh. Do you have any tips to create a really good headline or title in those chapters? Absolutely. That's a great question. Let's unpack this. The book actually dedicates a whole section to headlines and it's super helpful. Yeah. And it's so key because the headline is often the first thing people see. It's what makes them click. Right. So the book introduces something called the curiosity gap. It's all about making your reader curious, making them want to know more. What's fascinating here is that it's not just about being creative. It's about clarity. You need to tell the reader what it's about and who it's for. And also make a promise, something they'll get out of reading. Exactly. And the book gives some great examples of how to do that, like using numbers, power words, or unexpected combinations. Yeah. And they go over some proven headline formulas like big. C. Wild. <laughs> Talking about AI tools, I got another one for you. Just a quick bonus. Opus Clip. Opus Clip is so dope. It turns your long form videos, whether you have a podcast, whether you do YouTube videos as well, lives, whatever it may be, and gets it ready for social media. So it creates vertical videos. It turns into square videos for my carousels. It turns into horizontal if I want to put up different clips on YouTube. Plus, it allows me to do AI B-roll. It has sound effects. It does AI voiceovers. It does everything. OK, so I got that link in the description. Go check out Opus Clip. All right, let's get back into the video. What's up, Tony? Nothing is more 2025 to streaming. It's a dope content creator, including AI podcast. This is so fire. Absolutely. Uh, I don't think you are real at this point. <laughs> no, no, I promise you. I promise you I am that, that this is me. You could ask a question like, no. But I, I ain't mad that you asked, you, you're you worried about that. I'm, I ain't mad. I, I, I really not. But this this is why, why I like Notebook um, LM, because the possibilities on this is very endless, right? You can upload as many sources. You can upload a whole book. Like I just did certain chapters, but you could upload a whole book and kind of just get the audio overview. You could get, um, let's see if I could, you get a study guide, a brief doc, FAQs. So you could turn one piece of content into and transform it into different things. Right? So, so peep game. So this may, online writing guide quiz, ask each question, in two to three seconds, quiz answer key, essay questions, glossary. Like, th I think this is great also from an educator standpoint for any of my educators. Y'all should be using this off top. But for my regular solopreneurs, uh, content creators, business owners, this is could be a new brainstorming tool that you can have conversations with. For me, I love... Um, I love any AI that I can talk to, right? Any AI that, that I can talk to super fire. If I have to type, it, it, it limits me a little bit, right? But if I could, if I could talk to you, so the fact that I can have a conversation about the source that I put up, genius. You feel me? 
Uh, does it have you in the transcript? No, 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 no. It didn't. It didn't take the conversation. How much, Nikki? I think it comes with your. If you already pay for Google, it uh, it already comes with it. But let me see. Hold on. Let me get that for you because I do know is not free. I do know that. And I think they came out. Let's see. Uh, hold on. Let's go. Boop. 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 Perplexity. Um, I'm looking up Notebook LM. How much is it to use it? I know if you have a Google account, there's you know, certain access you could get, but they do have a plus, uh, account. How much is it to use Notebook LM? Notebook LM is currently free to use in its experimental phase for users with a Google account in supported regions, including the U.S. However, Google has introduced a premium version called Notebook LM Plus, which offers additional features such as higher usage limits, shared team notebooks, and advanced analytics. Pricing details for Notebook LM Plus are expected to be included in Google One AI Premium plans starting in early 2025, but specific costs have not been disclosed yet. That doesn't tell me anything. <laughs> come on, Marvin, coming through with it. It's $20 users uh, slash user slash month with a Google Workplace account. There you go. Shout out to Marvin for that. Thank you for the for the assist on that one. Thank you for the assist. So, uh, here we go. Twenty per month. So twenty dollars. I I really feel like. And 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 let me be honest, because I I do believe most AI tools start with a twenty, forty dollar situation, but. That adds up after a while, okay? I ain't gonna hold you. So that was interactive mode. That was Notebook LM. Let me know what you think about it. I, I love it personally because it feels like a conversation. It feels like a collaboration. Like, and content creation process all in one. The fact that I can talk back and forth to it is so fire. But let me know what you think. Drop that in the comments. And of course, make sure you check out this next video.